So next up, we're setting up the domain at Cloudways. And what we're doing there is we're going to be pointing a domain to our instance that we've set up, our application. Um, before, before I demonstrate that, um, I'm going to dis explain that Cloudways is not a domain host, and they do not uh, host your name servers. Um, and they also therefore <clears throat> are not the place where you would set up the domain pointing. However, you do need to add your domain into Cloudways um, so that the mapping takes place. And I'm going to show how to do this. It's going to take me about 90 seconds to two minutes to run through all of it. Um, so you will be able to see that it that is possible and it doesn't take that long. So obviously here's our server. These are our credentials. This is the public IP address, um, and then we, you know, we we'll use that later. But before we get there, I'm going to show you the application. This is our test application. It's on WordPress. If I click that and open it up, um, <coughs> Cloudways keeps popping up little messages uh, to take me through the panel. I'm doing that for you. That's why I keep ignoring those. The application URL is a standard one that Cloudways has set up. If we press this one to launch it, you can see we've got a standard WordPress instance. Um, this actually contains some Cloudways tutorials. You might find those useful. Um, I'm not going to use those because, as I say, I'm uh, avoiding those. Domain management is the bit we're looking for in the menu because we're going to be adding a domain. But before we add the domain, we're going to point our DNS to this public IP address. It's also in the application. As you saw earlier, it was in the server. Um, it, we use uh, AWS for SiliconDales.com. I'm going to use a SiliconDales.com subdomain as if this was, um, you know, www.yourdomain.com or some other subdomain.yourdomain.com. So I'm just going to put uh, Cloudways test and these are, these are the uh, A records uh, for the domain that I'm going to be updating um, so you can see we've got different choices in here this is route 53 in AWS in case you're wondering what this panel is um, I will paste in what I just copied which is the IP address for the server in question so you see it's cloudways test .com. I will create those records once those records are created, I will go back to Cloudways, go to Domain Management, um, type in our domain name. It's probably best to copy and paste that if you're um, doing it your side. You don't want to typo in your domain name. Um, but in any case, I can see that's correct. Save these changes. And this updates the domain. It doesn't just do the domain mapping it changes the domain in all of WordPress um, it changes the domain in WordPress's database so that everything is set up right and if you've ever migrated a WordPress site before if you've ever used one of the uh, migration tools uh, like delicious brains WP migrate DB tool you will know that changing the domain name is not something it's not just one thing that you need to do you need to change it throughout your entire site um, that's just done all of that uh, if you wanted to add additional domains so if you have two or three sites pointing in that resolve at your primary domain then you can do that here also um, we're not doing that here but what we will look at is the access details and we will see that our new domain name is now working you can see in the bottom corner there that's where it is so that's done um, quickly as a little bonus uh, bonus job I will show how to set up the SSL certificate you have to do this second because if you do it first let's encrypt which is what Cloudways uses for SSL and it's free it doesn't cost anything if you um, if your domain is not resolving when you go to set this up, it won't work uh, because it actually needs to resolve in order for the certificate to be issued. Now that we've seen the site working, make sure you don't have the HTTP or HTTPS. Put in the uh, 
full domain name. If you wanted a wildcard, you can use a wildcard now. We're not. We're using the uh, exact domain name. Install certificate. We wait for that to finish installing. And as we're waiting, what we'll do is say to ourselves, oh, OK, there's the site. If we want to make the site available over HTTPS, which we, um, we definitely do want to do that, I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate how to do that in the next uh, next step once this certificate has installed and then um, we will run through the process of making your whole site available over HTTPS which is gonna just take a few seconds and um, once the once the certificates through it will be a question of logging into WordPress and changing the main site URL and also the home URL to be HTTPS instead of HTTP and that will be it. So certificate has installed successfully. You can see the admin panels here. We can reveal the new password that Cloudways has made us. And I'm just going to copy that because it will be quicker. Log into the site. We've got a few boxes that we can dismiss. Um, I'm not touching any of these things. But what I am doing is, and this can be done from the database too, which is how we'd normally do it. We would also, I mean, we'll probably start with the HTTPS instance, but this is this shows you where this will take place. We save those changes. That will log us out because it's technically a different URL. But the site is now available over HTTPS, um, which is, you can see, Just going to move this so you can see the site is now secure, available over HTTPS, and that's the end of our tutorial.